what we got here is a patch of white clover. Uh, white clover is in the bean family and these type of plants typically fix nitrogen. Uh, they'll take nitrogen out of the air and put nitrogen into the soil. So commonly we'll see yards that have been under fertilized and not fertilized properly uh, will contain a fair amount of clover. Once you have the clover, you're going to have to use an herbicide to get rid of the clover, but to try and prevent the clover from coming back, you're going to want to maintain adequate fertilizer in your yard. The common three-way herbicides that you'll find at your garden center can be effective at controlling clover, but usually it's going to take several repeat applications. Herbicides that contain the active ingredient triclopyr are going to be much more effective at controlling clover in the yard. So you can recognize clover by the, the three-leaf clover-shaped leaf pattern. Other weeds that are going to look similar to clover are going to be black medic and oxalis. It used to be common to mix clover in a turf grass stand. The idea being that the clover would absorb some nitrogen from the air and help feed the turf grass and the two would coexist together. Unfortunately, it doesn't usually work out that way. Usually we end up, what we have here is a, a patch of clover and grass surrounding. The two don't necessarily co-mingle together. So generally we're not recommending mixing clover and turf grass together as, as a desired lawn species. For a little patch like this, it might be just as easy to take a small shovel or a spade and dig this patch up and then transfer some sod back into this place or uh, reestablish this area from grass seed. You don't always have to use a chemical control to remove your weeds. Mechanical control on small patches like this will work just fine. For more information, visit your local extension office or visit our website at kansasgreenyards.org.